What's up guys? Welcome to another uh, video on our Raspberry Pi here. In this video, we're going to be checking out uh, more of our camera module that we've gotten. <clears throat> One thing that I thought was kind of cool that I wanted to do with this was create some sort of a uh, camera that you could basically put a live stream type situations where you would have like a live video feed uh, and pipe it over a uh, web page. So you'd have like a web page set up that you could go to and you would have this cool video camera type thing. And you could basically do all kinds of stuff that you can make your own security camera with it, you know, put the wireless module with the, with the Raspberry Pi and stick it like outside or something and have it connect to your home network and you could you could monitor it. And then if you wanted to, you could, you know, set up some DNS stuff to where you could monitor it even if you're not at home you know just some kind of cool stuff like that so fun deals to do we're going to get into it right now all right so guys i've got a sigwin window set up here and we got to download some stuff. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'll put a link in the description of the SourceForge place to download this, but what we're going to download is the MJPG streamer software, which is what we're going to use to actually do the web-based part of all of this. Um, we'll be using the Raspi still uh, command, just like we used um, in uh, the last video that I did. Uh, we'll be using that again, except this time we'll be having it run continuously to create kind of a live video stream. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let me show you what the package is um, that I downloaded. It is this MPG uh, stream tar is what we've got. That's what we'll be using. So we're going to go ahead and extract that. So we're going to tar XZVF MJPG streamer. All right, so that'll pull that all out. Now we should have a uh, folder, if you look down here, we now have a folder called MPG Streamer, okay? So we also have to go ahead and build and make all the fun stuff to get this uh, get this program to start working. So we're gonna have to issue some, some make uh, stuff. So first of all, we wanna make sure we have all of its dependencies that we need. So what I'm gonna do, I've already downloaded these, but I'll at least show you the commands. We're gonna have to do a sudo, apt get install lib jpeg8 dev we need that development package so we're going to go grab that which like i said i've already installed it so it'll probably just tell me that it has already been installed yeah yeah newly installed you know, it's not been moved okay yeah so already the newest version okay so but that'll install that then the next package you'll need you'll need to do a sudo apt get and you will need to install, and you're going to do an image magic is what you need. And that will install. Now, like I said, again, I've already downloaded these because I've already tested this. Like I say, all my videos, I try to test everything before I actually show it to you. So that way there's no ambiguity. That way I know that it works. So if you have any questions on it, I can help you with it. So, all right, this is already the newest version. All right, super duper. So now what we need to do is we need a CD to our MJPG streamer folder. And once you're there, you should be able to just issue a make. Oh, wait, that was on the old version. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll, we have to CD into the build directory. So MJPG streamer directory, once you're inside there. There we go. Now you issue your make. And so this is going to take a little bit because it's going to build all of the, uh, all the files and everything, basically build the executable. So this will run through... Um, compiling it and doing all the build stuff. <clears throat> While that's doing that, um, like I said, we'll be using our uh, raspi uh, still command, which is the command that will um, take pictures, you know, like we did in our last one, except what we'll do is we'll set a time interval to where it will actually take pictures over a very course, or very long course of time, which will uh, allow it to basically function like a stream, but we'll have it write it to a one single file, and that one single file will basically be updated with the new picture uh, every so often, however much we set, which I think I'm gonna set one millisecond updates, that way it's just as fast as it possibly can go. And uh, it'll basically update that every millisecond. And then we will point 
our streaming software that we just got through building over to it. So now if we do an LS, we should see um, the MPG streamer executable in there. So there it is. So it looks like the build went just fine. But first we need to start our uh, we need to start our capture essentially. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and make a uh, make a uh, directory, just kind of a temporary stream directory. So we're going to do a mkdir for make directory, put it in the temp folder, and we'll call it stream. Okay. So we'll make that directory, and we're, now we're going to do the raspi still. We're going to set it up as 640 by 480. So we do a dash w for width 640 dash h for height 480. Do a dash Q for quality, we'll set it at five. We're gonna do a dash O for output file. We'll send that to our newly created directory, our temp stream directory, pick.jpg. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dash uh, TL, which is our uh, time limit. Basically this is going to uh, tell us how fast how, you know how many how long it is between pictures so we're going to do a one then we're going to put a dash t and I, I made the mistake in the last video i said that this was the threshold or how long it takes actually this is how long before the camera stops taking pictures so we'll just set that to some huge number uh, one two three we'll set that to that that's roughly like two hours or so set the thumbnail we don't need thumbnails so we'll set that all to zero and then um what we'll do from there is we will set this to running in the background. However, when you first turn this on, it will start doing a skipping frames thing, which I haven't totally figured out yet. So um, let me just show it to you. Go ahead and start that. And see, it'll start doing this, this skipping frames thing, which it'll log it to this main screen, which I don't know why it's doing this, but you know I can deal with it, not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel it. For right now, I'll just do a control C to cancel it, and we'll set up the MPG J streamer. Now, it is important to go ahead and start that because then our pick will be ready. So, if I do an ls on that temp stream folder, you'll see that our picture is available. So, now that our picture is available, we can actually point the streaming software to it. And when we point it to it, you know, if you, if you didn't do that command initially and then cancel out of it, it would. Uh, it wouldn't have ever created a, a, the pic.jpg file, and so you wouldn't be able to point it to anything. So, important key. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and I've already typed this command before and whatnot, so I'm just going to cut, cut and paste it from my kind of like my notes page here, and just pop it in. Basically, what it is is you need to set the ld library path variable. Um, and so you set that to dot slash, and then you're going to do a dot slash which runs the MPG streamer software. You're going to give it a dash i for its input file. You're going to point it to our temp stream here. Let me let me just maximize this, and maybe that'll stretch it out a little bit. So see, you're going to point the input to our temp stream folder. Okay, point the output of this to our uh, HTTP folder. So basically, our root web page folder, which is the www folder that is inside of this MPG streamer. Which, in fact, here I'll just I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Actually, I think it was where we were at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. It is. It's right there. So it's in this current folder. So that's the that's the web page folder that we'll be using. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and oops, copy that again. Go ahead and bring that back over and paste that all in. So now we'll go ahead and run that. And you'll get basically this this stream thing going on, and it tells you that where everything is and how it found everything. Um, I'm going to run it in the background though, so I'm going to cancel out of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it in the background. And to do that, you just put an ampersand after it. Uh, those of you that have uh, messed with Linux before know that, but if you haven't, that's how you run a program in the background. That way it'll run. When I press enter again, I get my terminal back. So now I'm going to run the if I can find it, our raspberry still command, okay? And if it generates a whole bunch of stuff, you know, it's, it's not a big deal, whatever, it's all right. So now let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So let's grab a, let's see, let's grab a window here. Got good old Google going on. 
Um, this one's going to be at 192.168.1. It's whatever the, the, um, yeah, as you can see, you can see MPG streamer. Um, whatever the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is, it'll be at port 8080, unless you change that in the settings. But it's going to be at 8080. So we'll hit enter. And then, of course, they give you kind of a rundown of what's going on with it. Hey, there's a picture of me. If you go over here to the uh, stream, click that, you should be able to see me. So, hey, hey. Now, it is going to be very grainy, is very choppy, as you can see. I'm actually moving pretty quick in real time it's actually <clears throat> moving very slowly but but the key command is it does work so hello everybody so isn't that fun and yes I have my uh, my one up t-shirt on it is correct so anyway so it does catch some things doesn't catch everything Woo. anyway Tons of fun. So that is basically how to set up a video stream. So now you guys know how I how I do this stuff. You can actually see me recording the video right now. Woo! Do you like some? Oh, what is that? What is that called when they're when they're doing the the poses or whatever? You know, in karate or or whatever it is. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, that's basically how you do it. Um, to stop it, you just go back to our SigWin terminal. You just hit a Control C to stop that. Um, to stop the stream, you just Control C it. And then to uh, stop the other one, if you, if those of you that don't know, again, if you guys are new to Linux, you can do a PS hyphen aux, and that will list every single process that's going on. However, we want to search for uh, the M. MPJG. Uh, oh, hey, everybody! Somebody's calling me. That's that's fun. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Good heavens. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pipe that to grep with a dash i, which ignores case, and we're gonna search for the. Let's see, we'll search for MJPG. We'll search for. Okay, and it is going to be this one right here is the one that it's that it's finding because see when you do this PS aux it lists every single process it's going to list the the grep function running and searching for M, the MJGP a MJPG wow say that five times fast <clears throat> so you got to look for the actual one up oh, they're calling back excuse me guys just one second I got to pause okay I'm back sorry about that and you know you know when you're in your house you know it just things happen anyway um so what you'll do to get rid of this uh, get rid of this process is you'll do a uh, well helps fun back in the same window you'll do a kill minus nine and you'll type the process ID which is right here this 2791 that is the process ID 2791 and they're calling back all right let's kill this process and get it over with all right so that stops the stream and basically now if I were to refresh it'll tell me that uh, it can't find it uh, 168 through 8080 could not be found so anyway that's how you stop it hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless of phone calls and everything else happening in the midst of it um, like I said if you want to start it well we can start it back up again why not um, if you want to do that we can take and pull up our streamer all right, I'm gonna pull up our Raspberry Still, start that back up so it starts doing its thing, and then we can we can bring it back up again, and we'll do the one i two one eight dot one dot thirty eighty eighty. There we are. Click on stream, and there it is. Yay! So, well, hey, I'll move my microphone over here. How's that? If I can. Oh my goodness, it's so horrible. So guys, hopefully it's not too loud. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully everything is going good in you guys' world. This is how you create a live stream video that is very choppy. Very Robotronic. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you here. Um, I've gotten a great group of people that are following and they're subscribing already. Um, ask any questions that you want. Put them down in the comments. We'd be happy to answer them for you. Take care, guys. Uh, 
Also, oh, check me out. I forgot before I sign off. Check out, I check me out on uh, Twitter as well as uh, check me out on uh, Instructables because I put stuff there. Looks like everybody's coming down the stairs, so I'm gonna have to get going. Take care, guys. Keep coding. Keep building. Having fun with electronics because that's what it's all about. Take care, and I'll see you next time. That ought to do it. <laughs>